Hey, what's up guys? It's Silver here. Welcome back to the channel. Man, thank you guys for joining me once again. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the YouTube drama I've been in, actively in actually, that's happened over the last three to four days throughout comments, throughout someone else's uh, making a video on me. And the person that I'm going to be responding to and making this video about is Warrior Empire. So I'm going to be explaining how this drama started, what happened to make it go this far, and what I've said, what I've done, what he said, what he's done, and yeah but this is gonna be a long video so if you want to stick around i'd really appreciate it because i'm getting some serious allegations about me that just don't add up and there's like no evidence at all so yeah let's get right into it how this drama started is actually kind of fun so he made a video talking about how activision could stop people from backing out of games leaving games mid-match or towards the end or early on and his solution to that was to disable weekly and daily challenges the reason why he wants this change is because he gets mad when people leave you are in field squads you're playing with field teammates you have to expect people to leave you can't just stop them there's so many reasons why they could leave maybe something happened maybe they don't want to play anymore maybe they want to do something else there's so many reasons for somebody to leave a game right that they can't really punish that for you know what i'm saying and it makes no sense for activision to do that to the entire player base let me read my comment actually was nobody cares about daily challenges if you're talking about weekly challenges it's unrealistic for activision to disable them they would lose active players and in turn because they lose active players they are losing money which Activision does not want, Xbox does not want that. And I said, the second solution is to find teammates you can play with anytime and don't play squad fills. That's logical. If you don't want teammates leaving, go play with people that you know and that you can talk to and they know you won't leave. And next was, Xify is being called a COD killer because it has changes that COD should make, but doesn't because he's talking about Xify within the video. And fourth, like I said, no one should get rewards just for playing the game. They already do that with XP that goes towards battle pass and weapon level. And his solution to reward players for sticking in the game was to give them weapon skins and weapon blueprints for free. No, everybody knows that Activision would never do that. Everybody knows Activision would never, ever do that. So why even suggest it in the first place? But then he says, LMAO, thanks for telling me what I already know. I've been playing COD since bo one which I don't know why that matters. It's just using your brain and knowing how the company runs to actually like make things work. And I don't really care about the gameplay, by the way. I'm, I'm just talking to talk. Thanks though. And no, I don't like to play with people. I don't like people in my ear so that's your fault <laughs> that's, that's on you man you can't do anything about it then i proceed to say yeah so if you know everything i've said and heard it before why say it's a solution to a problem that can be fixed and it, it be unrealistic and then i said some creators like you don't deserve to have a chance to speak their ideas because dude because dude why would we listen to a dumbass idea dude like what are, what are we doing here i could never have a clear chance to speak if it's about like let's say how to build a game or how the crypto markers or how crypto works i don't have a fair chance to speak i don't have a right to speak because i don't know enough and he clearly does not know enough how a business works how activision is how call of duty works and he shouldn't have a chance to speak but you guys know like what i'm trying to say though right like if you don't know a lot about something you don't have any right to speak on it bro unless you're told about it and then he said i knew you were on some bs and some lame like you don't need your input and everything like you smart get heck out of my hop i can't even read this bro there's no grammar and tour sentence structure at all and then he says this later on in the comment i ain't watching you you joined youtube two years ago and you got that many subs you got nothing but bot accounts paid subs lmao buddy it is clear as day that i've had pop-off videos and pop-off shorts to the point where people like me enough to subscribe i don't think this guy knows how youtube works at all you can grow a channel to a thousand subscribers in less than 10 days now because people know how to make good videos and i'm just gonna say it out here i don't care but you don't make good videos you just don't you don't make good gameplay you don't make good videos you don't make good conversations and i hate to be that guy but it's the facts there's a reason why you've been doing youtube for 11 years and you only have 900 subscribers bro and i don't care if you took a break or not right you you took a break and you still didn't have the ability to make good videos still and or play like this, dude. If you watch his gameplay, it's like he shouldn't even be talking. And then I just proceed to try to explain to him like how I got my subs. Literally just my pop-off videos and all that stuff and making good videos, making good content consistently, especially throughout this month. Literally, he says that I bought subscribers all because I disagreed with him. And then he proceeds to make a video on me, dude, right? And the video on me is just absolutely insane. He says some creators don't. And within the video right and i had to rewatch it multiple times because he kept saying he kept like stuttering or some shit dude couldn't form a fucking sentence right and i only said what i said 
because I was using the same logic of if you don't know a lot about something or you're uneducated as fuck into something, you have no right to speak in it, right? Which he clearly is. He's uneducated as fuck when it comes to how Activision runs their business and how Call of Duty is. The solution to the problem of people leaving the match is so unrealistic. And then he proceeds to make a video on me, a full length video on me. And for about, I'd say, eight to nine minutes out of the 12 minute video, he is talking about me, right? And then he proceeds to say that I've only been on YouTube for two years. I can't have that many subs. And remember guys, he's been doing YouTube for about 11 years now, right? And he thinks I have bot subscribers because I don't stream that much. Bro, YouTube is not, YouTube is a streaming platform, but it's primarily videos. Yeah, you could grow from streaming, but you're gonna grow a lot faster from posting videos. And then he proceeds to say that he thinks that I have bot subscribers because I don't have as many videos as him. So does he think that Mr. Beast has bot subscribers? Does he think that Nick Merckx has bot subscribers? Because they all have less videos than him and they all have more subscribers than him. So use that same logic, man. Keep that same energy. The reason why so many people have more subscribers than this guy and with less videos and less streams is because we make good content. We know how to make good content. He clearly does it. And he also says there's no way in hell that I have that many subscribers in only two years and says that I cheat in Call of Duty and don't play legitly. He then proceeds to go stream right and i go in his stream i try to talk to him through his chat he has me timed out or just blocked from him see my messages and then i hop on call of duty right and his name is visible on the screen in the menu and like everywhere else and it's very easy to read because he streams on 720p and his bit rate's good enough to be actually be read look at this shit you could read it it clearly is w-a-r-r-i-o-r empire there's so many instances where he's in the lobby like right here and when i sent him that friend request on call of duty i realized you could start sending a message so i start trying to message him through the friend request and then i kept revoking them because i didn't want him to block me right i'm trying to freaking talk to the guy i i'm not gonna lie what i what i proceeded to do was very childish of me i'm just trying to talk to him and he's saying all this shit about me and he doesn't want to talk and with the viewers that were in his chat like the three viewers that was in his chat and there's only two people talking but there's three viewers and between the three viewers he started saying guys check out his channel he clearly bought subs and he clearly cheats he makes fake videos his people check out my channel they don't comment anything but then they start agreeing with him that i bought subscribers when he's provided no evidence his entire argument to why i have bought subscribers is because i've only been doing youtube for two years and i don't post as much as he does that's his entire argument where in youtube for years now it's known that if you make good videos right and people watch them right good titles and thumbnails your videos will pop off it will be recommended to more people he clearly doesn't know that. And then I'm like, yo, let's just talk. I don't want a 1v1 anymore, right? Which I wanted to do originally, right? And then I'm like, let's just talk. And he's like, no, I'm not talking to you. You're childish. You spreading false allegations to me with no evidence? Ain't that childish of you? And I know people are going to be saying like, you should not care about this guy. He has less subscribers than you. But when he's spreading false allegations of me cheating in Call of Duty and or that I bought subscribers when I clearly don't, where I've had pop-off videos, like my NBA Youngboy videos, like my controller settings videos and all that stuff, right? And my shorts as well. It's clear as day that I don't do any of that stuff, and I advocate for non-cheats at all. Like, I don't want cheating in video games at all. So why would I cheat? Like, this guy's arguments make no sense. And then I start spamming him and all that stuff, and, you know, he has his people, like, agree with him that, you know, that I bought subs and cheat on call of duty and then his viewer base proceeds to start talking it about my appearance saying that I look like a weirdo that you know i look like one of those weird kids and all that stuff then they proceed to say that you know i got everything from my parents and all that stuff like dude i spent five thousand dollars of my own money on my pc i got everything that i have right now literally everything that i have from my clothes to my equipment for my pc all from me dude and they're just saying all this shit and i'm like dude like let me just keep annoying them dude because they clearly don't know like how youtube works and then he and then i do this for about an hour and 30 and like that's a lot of dedication but it was like what a saturday or friday night i didn't really care i just wanted to talk to him at this point and he's like no you know i know i'm right because i've been doing youtube for a long time and i've seen people like you who cheat and bot subs and like it, it's just insane to me how dumb the call of duty community is how dumb people are to make stupid allegations that are very serious for certain people like for me like the botting subs thing oh my god i've been doing youtube for three and a half years i have two channels right people on twitter and people that have known me for a long time know how long i've been grinding for dude how much i've improved my videos 
You don't just spread uneducated false allegations about somebody at all, dude. Like that's just not right. And I'm the I'm the I'm the childish one. The only thing I would say that I was in the wrong for was spamming during this live stream. But at the same time, I'm trying to talk to this dude and explain like how I got my subs and how I don't cheat and do any of that. And then he was confused about how I got his account when he literally openly streams it. How much of a dumb fuck do you have to be to say that shit? Like, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, dude. And that's why I said earlier, people like him who have dumb takes have uneducated takes that don't know what they're talking about should not be having a platform and or talking about those things. It's just crazy to me how somebody can make such clear, uneducated, false allegations about somebody when all you have to do is like about two minutes of research on my channels. You can see where I had to pop off, right? And where people would like to sub, right? With my NBA Youngboy video, with my controller settings videos, with, with literally anything, right? And you can see that I don't cheat. I advocate for cheaters to get banned. So why would I cheat myself? Just because I want other people to view me as like, oh, he's a good guy? No, it's just crazy to me how this all escalated just because I disagreed with him. Me commenting does not start the drama. I'm just stating my opinion against his opinion. That's all it is. I just disagreed with him. And yeah, maybe I should have said that, you know, he doesn't deserve a platform, but he could have disagreed with me and we could have kept it clean. Then he proceeds to say that I bought subs and that I cheat, makes a whole video on me. It makes the biggest uneducated false allegations ever. And all of his quote unquote evidence is because I've only been doing YouTube for two years and I have less videos than him, and I don't live stream on YouTube. That's why he thinks I have bot subscribers. What a dumb fucking idiot, man. And within the video, he says that I cheat and all that stuff, and then in his live stream, where I basically trolled him for two hours, right? And then towards like the later half of it, I was trying to freaking talk to him legitly, and then he just kept being a pussy about it. I'm just astonished by how easy it is to make uneducated false allegations just to have people follow him on it. And listen, it might be like four to five people right? But those four to five people could talk to other YouTubers as well. Like, it's just crazy to me, man. I don't understand how dumb people could become even dumber even after talking to them, dude. I don't understand, dude. This is my first major drama I've been in, and dude, I don't even know how to respond after this, man, because, dude, I've I've laid out all, all the facts here, right? I've showed all the information, and I, I'll be awaiting his response. Yeah, it's been you, but let me know, guys. Drop a like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Am I in the wrong? Am I in the right in certain things? I feel like I'm in the right to defend myself with the allegations. I was definitely in the wrong for saying that he doesn't deserve to have a platform and for spamming him. But, but that eventually stays away and goes away. False allegations about me botting subscribers and cheating in Call of Duty does not go away. It just becomes even bigger. But yeah, peace out.